Brooklyn's museum next to the River Way in Surrey is one of my favourite museums. It has some great exhibits, but crucially there is also a very strong sense of place too. Brooklyn's was once the home of British motor racing and also an important aircraft manufacturing centre, and today the museum's site retains quite a few features from those halcyon days. Strolling around the site really is like taking a walk back in time. Nowhere more so than when you explore the sections of the old racetrack that still survive today. The banking is surprisingly steep, and just enough of the track remains in situ to get a good appreciation of what it must have been like to be a competitor or a spectator at Brooklyn's during its motorsport heyday. There's plenty of Brooklyn's museum to satisfy the aviation enthusiast. There's a large outdoor static display area that has a Concorde as its centrepiece. Visitors can enjoy an onboard tour of this mighty airliner, albeit for a small additional fee. Still relatively new to Brooklyn's are the aircraft factory and flight shed exhibition spaces. Taking centre stage inside the aircraft factory hangar is a very rare World War II era Vickers Wellington bomber. This particular aircraft was built at Brooklyn's in 1939 and was recovered from Loch Ness in the mid 1980s. There's a Hawker Hurricane on display in the flight shed gallery. The first flight of the prototype of this legendary World War II fighter aircraft was actually at Brooklyn's in 1935. As well as aircraft, the museum has a fascinating array of other aviation artefacts, including aero engines and a vast stratosphere chamber. The presence on site of the independently run London Bus Museum is a bonus, from a social history as well as automotive heritage perspective. The name Brooklyn's is synonymous with motor racing, and as you would expect, there are lots of lovely classic cars and motorcycles on display in the motor sheds at Brooklyn's Museum. But the Brooklyn's track was also used for cycle races, and the museum has a splendid collection of bicycles too. The Sunbeam Cafe is a very pleasant venue for a pit stop on your tour of the museum. A welcoming place to rest your legs and enjoy a light snack or hearty lunch. Another delightful thing about this museum is the fact that during your visit you may get the opportunity to see some of the exhibits being driven by museum volunteers up and down the finishing straight. The sight of these classic vehicles, the sound of their engines and the smell of their exhausts really does help to conjure the true spirit of Brooklyn's. All in all, Brooklyn's Museum is great value and definitely worth a visit.